As a result, we have this repo with 68 already stars created by ChatGPT. It's Chrome extension with this small window just to click and uh, hide images or and click again and show these images. This is it. Nothing special, but it's 68 stars. People pretty like it. And all of these code lines created only with ChatGPT. I will show you how exactly I did it. It's crazy. Really love it. First of all, let's create a repo new. We will use this one Chrome image blocker YouTube demo. Public. Yes, please. Readme file. MIT license. Great repository. Our repo. Clone. Let's open terminal. Finder. Let's go to personal folder. Git clone our repo. Pass. Done. Let's go to this repo. This one. And open. Yes, I trust Kirill. We have repo with license, MIT license, and readme file, the empty one. Cool. Now we should start to create this Chrome extension. First of all, we need data structure like files and directories in this repo. And usually I really love to talk with ChatGPT by my voice, but they get, but get answers by text. And that's why I use my own Telegram bot with ChatGPT API. It's pretty the same as you uh, use this ChatGPT, but with voice messages or even the official app, but but the official app give us this option, but ChatGPT start to answer you by voice also. I don't need it. I need to I need answers by text, but asking by voice, and that's why I use my own API. Uh, but this is not too much difference. Okay, let's start to talk with ChatGPT to our files and directory structure. Yeah. Hey, please give me files and directory structure for Chrome extension. Uh, act as professional Chrome extension developer, most intelligence in this world. This Chrome extension will actually just have a button to toggle the Chrome setting. Uh, should I upload images or not? And this is it. Uh, please send me back just files and directory structure. Right now I need only this. Let's see what happened, what ChatGPT will suggest to us. And right now, yeah, it's already sent from extension, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we already have our name, yeah. Name will be this one. Okay, this one, great. Right now, I want to create all these files, but I'm really lazy. I don't want to do it manually here. I'm so lazy. Don't you dare. Here, I can create file by file. But let's ask ChatGPT to send us uh, terminal commands with all of these details. Please send me uh, a commands to terminal. I will copy it from you, uh, run in my terminal, and I want to have all these files and folder structure. Let's open terminal. Make dear. Yeah, it start to fill it with code. Okay. Okie dokie. Why not? Tsk, tsk, run. Yeah, it happened, but <laughs> it's great. One more folder. Okay, okay, we'll do it manually. I will move it here, move, and remove this folder because we already have one. Nice. Now we have all needed uh, structure with some code inside. Let's send this context to ChatGPT to share a current state of our repository with all this data and all this code, I will use my tool, uh, repo to text. I will show you how it works. You can install it with uh, pip install repo to text. 
and after that you need to write just repo to text and you will uh, have this file with all related folders and content right now you can see we save too much to the, in this file it's like yeah it's already 100 lines i don't need all this git and etc that's why let's create a git ignore file please send me best dot git ignore uh, content uh, to chrome extension blah 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 nice copy paste save let's try again repo to text this is the last version much better clean structure and all content nice let's send it to chat gpt this is our current state let's write him I will send what to do next in the next message to say it aloud by voice message okay please check for all errors and etc uh, say what do you think and if all good i will start to try it on my chrome browser let's open extensions load and pack it and choose our directory with youtube demo select Failed to load. Copy this error. Send it to ChatGPT. Blah blah blah. Manifest. Copy. Past. Background. Looks like we do not have background JS here. Yeah. Okay. Let's create background JS. Placeholder. Let's try again. It works. Now we have this extension. From image blocker YouTube demo. Cool. Let's spin it. Toggle setting. What happened? Let's open Instagram and try to toggle it. It doesn't work. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Okay. Do we have any errors? No errors. ID. At all because background JS have nothing. Let's ask again. Repo to text have new last repo. Maybe we should first ask to he'll read me and ChatGPT next time will understand what what we are preparing. Yeah. Please fill readme.mde file with all details about this Chrome extension, the idea, etc. All you think can be useful. Nice. Let's copy it. Oh, it's too much about the code, yeah? Okay, we'll clean up it later. Or oh, now. Please remove all code blocks from this readme. I don't need to uh, save code in files and in readme also. Just the main idea, the overview as usual. Yeah, much better. Let's save it. Now we can reset the memory and this ChatGPT again forget everything we talk about create new repo to text and with this data say i will say you in the next message what to do with this nice this chrome extension do nothing when i push the button toggle uh, i guess it's because background js is empty and not related to manifest please fix it and show me the code I should insert uh, to my repo. Actually, we can delete all these files. It's just our previous repo text results. Done. Background. Pop up. Okay. No, it's not pop up. JavaScript. Yeah, it's pop up JavaScript done cool let's try inspect view service worker okay we will do it later update okay it showed us not a button but the code update service worker let's pretend we cannot read the code oh yeah it's just because i didn't save it button let's Test it. Nope. Nothing happened. Oh, maybe we 
yeah, it doesn't work and it doesn't uh, refresh page automatically. Once again, wrap it to text. Next message. There is two problems. First problem, it doesn't work. When I push the button, image is still in the screen. Please update the code that I can push the button and setting in Chrome uh, should we load messages or not will toggle to not if we if it yes now and vice versa uh, and the second problem I want to refresh my page when I push the button after this setting change uh, please send me what should I change in my code I'm a Python developer and data scientist and data person and this is Chrome extension I, it's interesting okay what should we do background JS blah 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 done create new file content JS okay can do it with this done pop-up JS okay done manifest done let's try it refresh button it's refreshing but pictures are still there okay much better now it uh, refreshing great but pictures still on the screen uh, please try to change this setting let's try another one if you will fail it i will google something for you but please try to find this setting i think it's image loader disable not sure what else can we do for example these files we don't need them and that's why we can add them to git ignore done Okay, what's interesting? Background JS update. Let's do it. Background JS manifest. Is it sending to me because it, something changed or just yeah, something changed? Okay, let's try. Hmm, some errors. We will check it. Check. No, it's still there. Okay, what the errors? Runtime. Let's check if it's new mm -hmm. toggle no errors okay it's all error enable state to true disable but but picture is still there okay let's google it uh from setting to disable images and let's do it manually settings set settings images yeah this is the this is what we need just toggle this okay let's help our small bot with this data YouTube did we create something for YouTube yeah we did something for YouTube oh it's YouTube demo not YouTube blocker okay let's check maybe it works on YouTube yeah <laughs> it, it, okay it works for YouTube nice yeah my darling YouTube uh, in the in the name of our repository it's just because i write i record the video for the youtube uh people not because you need to restrict youtube please uh show or do not show images on any websites not only on youtube it's funny <laughs> okay let's do it background js check manifest check is it safe let's try extensions refresh instagram enable yeah it works no pictures disable 
with pictures. That's why we should commit it. Let's check. Git ignore OK, OK, OK. Icon is pretty empty, but OK, it will be placeholder. Manifest, pop up, readme. Looks great. Oh no, here we need to remove these spaces. Yeah. Init commit. Let's send it to the server. Send. Okay, let's open GitHub. Repositories. Where is our, yeah, this YouTube demo. Great. Now we have this repository with all instructions how to install, etc., etc. And anyone from the internet who can go here and follow these instructions will have this small button to remove pictures or see the pictures. And only one thing left. We should go to Hacker News on the morning for USA and publish something like that. Show HN, blah, 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 our repository. I did it with this title and submissions. This one. Show HN, tiny Chrome extension to disable images, to reduce destructions. This is it. No text, nothing. 54 comments, 69 upvotes, and as a result, 68 stars. Actually, I think 10 of these stars is my friends, but all other people, I don't know them. And it's pretty fun. My actual Chrome extension have one more feature. Every couple minutes, the setting toggle back to disable images to remove destruction. But it's also easy to add. You can just create repository text here, grab all this data, go to ChatGPT, and continue talking. Yeah, just let's add the feature. I really love your code. Thank you very much. But I want one more feature. Let's and you just continue with your idea. And with this iteration, you can create, for example, this Chrome extension without knowledge how to create Chrome extensions. Just by uh, thinking about trees, yeah, about some project structure and copy and paste piece of code. This is it. It just works. After publishing in Hacker News, you can publish it in your social media. I also did it on moment activity. Yeah, this post, 25 stars on GitHub because I couldn't sleep. It was just half of the day, blah, blah, blah. And even more people like it and give me stars and some of them clone it and use for their browsers and etc. etc. Here we can see some insights for traffic. Yeah, the top traffic, it's Hacker News second github and other social media a little and this is how it looks like by clones and by visitors not bad for chat gpt and of course we still need a programmer the idea coming from the programmer uh, the knowledge that we can toggle just one chrome setting still a programmer but it's not so hard yeah and i am not javascript programmer I'm any gay guy like Python, data science, data engineering. And it was my first uh, Chrome extension in, in my life, but I did it. And actually don't know how it, how it works, but with ChatGPT, just copy pasting, uh, I did it in less than an hour. And ChatGPT still need me to find this idea, to copy and paste data to code base, because right now it's too many corner cases when you try to update your uh, code base with ChatGPT, not only generate new piece of code, but use it. But actually, even with all these corner cases, it looks amazing. And I believe we, we will solve all this flow and all it can happen automatically without me. And uh, we'll see what how, how, how it looks like. I, I think we, we will know in half a year from now. It's crazy. Really love it.